Hi guys. Hey guys. Hippie yeah. Thug Gaming. Courtney's dead here. Easy. And we are doing a playthrough of The Sims 4. We're going to give it a try here. I myself have played it before, so I have a little bit of expertise to guide us. Okay. So we've got that going for us. We're going to create a sim today, and that's going to kickstart our playthrough. Okay. Um, we're not going to show you guys all that, because there's a lot of silly things we'll go through and make them look like us. But I just wanted to show you guys here, um, when you start the game, it pulls up this screen. And you'll see here the, um, all the expansion, game packs, stuff packs, etc. Um, so the expansion packs usually come with a new town. Okay. Um, more new features, more new clothes. Like, there's a little bit more to them. The game packs, same, kind of less. They do have kind of a tier. And then the stuff packs okay, so really an, is okay, just Okay, so stuff. give an example of like what... I mean, so the expansion pack has the... For example, for example, I have the city living one. So this is... Um, you can go to festivals. This is really cool, guys. One of my favorite parts about it. I strongly recommend this one. It's okay. on sale right now, too. And so these are all the... Yeah, so this is all the stuff. It might not be on sale unlocks, when you watch this video, but it was on sale. It unlocks um, apartments. You can live in penthouses or whatever. It okay. unlocks new furniture. There's lots of new clothes, so you can scroll through and see what all you get with it. And it, as you can see, it tells you right there to create a sim items and then build mode items? Yep. Oh, all right. Okay. So we're in the create a sim item. So as you can see, it comes with quite a bit of stuff. Um, and then build mode. Again, a whole bunch more. Decorations, tiles, art, pretty much everything. So that's an example of an expansion. Like it has a city you can move into, you can go into apartments. The get to work one is also an expansion. So that's where you go to work with your sim and be a doctor or a det detective or... Okay. And um, we'll probably and cover these one, expansions more in depth in later videos as well. Absolutely. Um, so then we have our game pack. So this is, it opened a new area. No one lives there, but I got a lot of stuff with like it. Like there's stores there and stuff? No. Okay. Just yeah, I just got an empty area. I don't really know. I think there's a spa nearby, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, but that's about it. Um, this one was so-so. It unlocked a lot of really neat build mode items, though. So like Dieter said, we'll get more into that. We'll show you guys here what we're getting into. I think you hit play and not create a sim. I did. We're just gonna go right back to the main menu, guys. Fast forward this load screen. There. Alright. So we'll give you the rundown before we make our character so you can see what we're working with here. So lots of different options. You change your name up here. Like I said, we're gonna do all this and um, show you guys later. Sorry, I messed up the mouse temporarily. So you change your name break there. Break my mouse on me. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't even do anything. That's what they all say. You can change your age. Obviously, you can't have a house full of toddlers running around. That's okay. You can change your voice. Okay. Um. So with the volume up, you can hear what it sounds like, even though what they say makes no sense. So you can change your walk style here. There's lots of little random things. If you have more Sims in the household, you can edit whether they're your brother, your roommate, etc. Um, if you go into here, you can see we can, ta-da, Bodybuilder D. Um, there's tattoos, um, that's new in Sims 4, I think, if I remember correctly, but they're really neat. Um, there's styled books, so they'll showcase some of the things from, uh, whatever expansions you have, etc. So, uh, it'll give you some outfits. Got your accessories. It's all really easily broken down. Huh. So as I said, we're going to go through and uh, edit that. You can even do things like, oh, I want to make your shoulders smaller, and I want to make your head bigger. There you go. And I want to make your legs big. Small, actually. You chicken legs. There you go. Okay, so when a flash is red, you can't go anymore, right? Exactly. Okay. But basically, guys, you can do whatever you want. Um, it, over here are the traits. So we'll show that in a minute here, too. Um, only other thing... We've got different outfits here, so based on whatever events your sim goes to, uh, you'll wear different outfits. So you've got your party outfit, your workout outfit, sleeping. sleeping. This is like a casual party, if you will. They tend to wear whatever they want anyways. And then swimwear. So if you have a pool or something, they'll immediately change into that. Um, so once you do all those, there's also features such as like facial accessories, like glasses, earrings, etc. 
and do things like this, or let's say I don't like this chin, period, I can actually just click on it. I like this one better. There we go. Or that one, you know. Whatever floats your boat. Exactly. We got lots of hairstyles. Whatever uh, expansions you have, um, they'll come up in the corner yeah, of so the item. So you, you won't know see what a lot of with. these if you don't have the expansions. I guess is what Courtney's trying to say as well. You won't see what we're showing you as well. Yeah, so if you're missing things going like, my game doesn't have that, um, you might notice a little uh, picture in the corner here where I'm moving my mouse. Yeah. And it tells you what expansion I have that has given me yeah. that. I was going to say, the icons on the start screen seem to match the icons there. So, like, that briefcase represents get to work. Then there's the spa mm -hmm. day, the, the city living, the... Yeah. It's apartment buildings. They all have a different little icon. Okay. Um, so, last but not least, you can change your skin tone. We've got some teeth changes here. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding, Peter. Um, As you can see, my face is not find that amusing. Facial hair. And we can even okay. have it not match your hair. Dieter wants a purple goatee. There you go. Fair enough. Um, he can wear makeup if he wants to. Not usually your thing, so we might not. Not do that. at all ever my thing, actually. It is one of these guys. And then you can pick eye color. You can pick just about anything. So we're gonna get started here and make a Courtney is dead. Were you gonna show them the? Into Deedzy. Yes, we're gonna look at the traits here. Okay. I knew there was something Thank we were missing there. I didn't me. know the name of it, but I knew there was something she was gonna show you guys. Last but not least, we pick aspirations. So you can change these at any time, which makes it really neat. So let's say I'm on the soulmate one. Um, okay. It'll give me goals such as like go on two dates with your spouse, get married like to your best friend. Like while you're in friend. the game, right? Exactly. Okay. And once you beat those, you get um, I can't remember aspiration points, I believe they're called. Okay. And they go to like a, a, an account. You can buy rewards, and and as they get more expensive, it's things like you're way more likable. Your interactions are more successful. You learn quicker. Okay, so they're like short, you like use that. these points as like shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Or you, sorry, the potions or the whatever you called them. And also, you'll see here, guys. I've got another one, location that comes from the um, the city living expansion, I believe. So you might not have that one. Or um, what about popularity? Is that another one, or is that? There's a couple in there. Okay. There's uh, subsets of every aspiration. So uh, let's say you want love. Well, there's serial romantics. Eesh. Take your pick, I guess, and go through the ranks, or you can find your soulmate. Go through the ranks. Um, but then there's little things like deviance of fortune, or like you want to live in a mansion, have lots of money. You'll see if you beat this aspiration, you'll get a bonus trait. And then do you get to pick a new aspiration? Like And yes, you do. Okay. And so as I was saying, I was playing around with it last night, guys. Something I think is really cool. I was using the location one. So it has things like a, give a friend your apartment key. Also a city living thing. Um, go to such and such a festival and do this. Well, the festival wasn't on, so I switched back to my other aspiration. Beat it with all stuff that I could do right now. And then when that festival came back on... I flip back to location, beat it, and I finish that one too. So it does save your progress for them, and that's really cool. Um, so this is just random, we're just clicking on whatever here. Okay. Then you can pick your traits. Everything in Sims you can usually hover over and it'll give you kind of like a rundown yeah. of what it's supposed to be. So we've got your emotional traits, your hobbies, um, what one's this again? Lifestyle traits and social traits. So we're going to go through and pick ours. Um, all these will give you different interactions, different moodlets. Moodlets are how you'll feel like. If you're I know, a goofball, you're, you're, you're going to be feeling playful like, all the time. What is that? We're going to get all more right. into it, guys, and we're going to make our very own Deedzy and Courtney's Dead. So, we'll have that with you shortly. Alright, guys, so now that it's all said and done, we have our created sims here that we'll showcase. So, uh, as you can see here, we both picked Soulmate for our uh, aspirations at the moment. Okay. So our bonus trait for that is we're going to be alluring. alluring. We'll have more success with our, our uh, flirtatious stuff, if you will. Um, cheerful, of course. Creative. creative. I like to paint. as a and dance, and dance machine. machine, because that's new in one of the new and these are all So I'm just going to give it a try. I like dancing. Self-explanatory. And what do we got for me? What do we pick for me? And for you, we got... Soulmate, okay, yeah. Yep, so you got the same, but you oh, got yeah, goofball. goofball, geek, and then I'm pretty sure outgoing, yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, those are our uh, aspirations and traits. Yep. We went through and put our names in. Yeah, we are. We showcased got you guys all the different outfits. Oh, okay, so now we're showing off the outfits. 
Okay. So we've got everything all set up here. This is me. Ta-da! And we're all done creating a sim. Perfect. So in our next video, we'll be bringing you the HTG Residence, you and we'll do it. it. We'll do we'll do a fair let's play. So we'll start out with the regular amount of money or whatever amount of money you get. 20, I remember us. Okay. So check it out, guys. We'll Hippie Tug Gaming. We'll be bringing you more. So don't forget to click that like button, comment, and subscribe. And this has been a Hippie Tug production. I guess so. So peace, love. Hippie Tug.